Hey YouTube, what's up? Mr. Geeky here, and today welcome to Indie Plays Five Nights at the Candies. Today we're playing the second game. Uh, don't know what else to really play. I'm kind of torn. Actually, hey, are you there? Lol, you lost the bet. <laughs> You know what that means. You have to spend five nights at that old factory again. Again? When was the first time I spent five nights at a factory? Or else people will think you're a chicken. Scared? Uh, let's see, what, what should I say? No, wait, I have the best thing. I have the best thing. Thank you, Ross, also known as Rubber Ross, for this. Um, here we go. Come at me, scrub, and I'm ripped. LMAO. Get on my, my beanie. It's probably, a, it's actually someone else's beanie. I just found it around the house. Downward to look at my camera panel. Okay. Look on the camera icons to view the cameras. You can call any of the internal phones, phones in the building through the camera panel. Any phone you call will make a ringing noise, which will echo throughout the central hall. The animatronics can only hear the phones if they are in the same room as the phone, or if they are in the central hallway. Use the phones to lure the animatronics out of the central hall before they get to you, but be careful. If they reach the room with the ringing phone, they will try to temporarily disable it. And what was the other one? Um, start, space to use the camera. Ooh, I don't like that. Can't even get a lay of the land. Now, you might know, I never actually completed Five Nights at Candies. Uh, it, it was fun. Like, it wasn't a poor fan game. I just didn't see any reason to beat all five nights of it. Uh, but, you know, this game looked unique in and of itself. I saw the way the gameplay works, and I... Well, okay, then... Uh, I got to fudge. Hi. Hey, um. Look, I, I, about. About going out this weekend, um. Uh. Ah, oh, dang it. You in here there? Okay, okay. You in here there, guys? I don't know. Is she in here there? Yeah. Hey. And I bet you can. Yay. Yeah. So as far as I know, there's the monkey. There there are a few other ones. I don't know if I'll beat this one. This one seems interesting enough that I might actually have an interest in beating it, but um it, it seems different enough that it's not just like watching the old game over again, but uh, leave a like or tell me in the comments if you want to see me beat it. And I might. Ah. That's a little. While looking at the game to seeing if I see if I actually wanted to play it, I, uh. Huh. Oh, cool. It's directional. Alright, so, you know, I know how this game works pretty much. I've seen people play it so I have the ropes down I doubt I'm gonna be able to be very good at it though it seems like one of those games that will just get me way too flustered and too fast god dang it I forgot to exit that off all right all right come on we're getting we're getting jiggy with it we're figuring out the pattern that taste I want a glass of that taste Ah. Um, uh, I don't like that. I want a sip of that taste, though. Ah, leave. Do you hear that? Someone's calling you. They want you back. Uh, they want you back. Come on. Most people would say don't call them back, but I say do whatever your little heart desires. They might have drawn them closer, but... Oh, it, it, 
It drew Cindy closer. Good. Great. You got me. I'll give you that. Morse code message. It says Pong graphics. WASD to search around the place. <laughs> so it looks like I'm the monkey. I am two monkeys. I suppose I'm supposed to eat bananas or something like that. But I don't know. This is Chester's voice, by the way. I believe that's the name of the monkey. I don't know if I want to eat bananas. Oh, hey, it's blank. The one everyone drew on. Look, I don't know. Wait, can we actually interact with Blank? I wonder. Look, Blank, I know. Everyone wants... It doesn't look like it. Everyone wants me to sit around and eat bananas in my little cove. But, you know, sometimes you sit down and you think to yourself, what? what's the point of this? Why am I sitting here drinking? But, hey, candy? Is that a... From the shadow, it looks like it's a cutout, maybe. Yeah, I just think to myself, like, is this even worth it anymore? Am I even appreciated in my work? Oh, wait, wait, was there a date on the calendar? 1989. I feel like, like, drinking banana juice, sitting, I don't know, man, it's just, I feel like it's demeaning sometimes. Let's take a quick, let's take a, a quick little stab at night two, and uh, see if you guys want me to uh, complete it, because I feel like I might, if people want me to. Uh, the real Five Nights at Freddy's, which was that series I promised a while ago, and um, my Five Nights at Freddy's Let's Play, The Fudge? Ah, uh, uh-oh. All right, I can see how it would get harder if we had more characters. God dang it. Uh, but it doesn't seem as hard so far. <coughs> I'm sick, unfortunately. Ah. Don't get closer. There we go. All righty, dighty, doobity da. Oh my god, just switching the camera scared me. I This is really interesting. It like combines Five Nights at Freddy's 3 with um with the fourth one with the flashing the flashlight. Like the Fred Bear part of flashing the flashlight, the fifth night. Which was my favorite part of the game anyway, so you know. Can't complain about that. So I and I really let me just let me just get serious here. I didn't say this in the review I did of the game. Um Five Nights at Freddy's Four deserves a lot of credit for changing things up in the middle of the game. Like, you can have different sections of the game. That's something I've, you don't see in any other of the FNAF games. The fourth one had fun with Plush Trap. It had... Uh, had... Oh! You dingus. You dick. Hey, but we completed the second night. I have a feeling we're not going to be so lucky with the third night, though. Return. Oh, Little Chester version 2 is dead. See, he full... Oh, what the heck? I just saw that close. Going back here, mate. Oi, mate. What do you think you're doing? They're, they all have British accents, by the way. What do you think you're doing? Chester's like, you know, I'm just I'm thinking that this isn't worth it anymore. And then he's like, what do you think you're doing? 
I'm wanted in five countries. Dead or alive. I'm a mob boss. I'm the penguin. But I'm a lot scarier than that freaking Batman nemesis. Even call him a nemesis. What does he do? Sits around, pouts. Uses his umbrella to like pull, push smoke and he what? Teams up with the Joker and turns people to liquid? That. I'm just gonna say all my Batman lore is from the old Batman movie, the one where he runs around. Uh, I can't remember the exact line, but it's something like, you can never find a place to throw a bomb or something like that. That's the, uh, that was the high point of DC Comics, was that movie. Um, I gotta say, it, uh, it was really just, it was like the best movie ever made. I feel like it should have won all the Oscars. It's just, there was so much talent, the talent behind all the amazing creators of that beautiful film deserve full credit for what they did. Like, come on, Leonardo DiCaprio, he doesn't deserve an Oscar. You know who deserves an Oscar? The director of that film. I don't even know their name, see? They're so underappreciated. It's just, the, the Batman series is good, but I think it hit its high point and it's just gone down since that, that old movie, I don't even remember what it was called, it just doesn't get enough recognition, but I gotta say, it's, it's gotta be Academy Award winning, if nothing else, it's just, it needs to win an Academy Award, I, where am I supposed to find this? other thing. Can I go here? I don't know. You just, you just can't, you know, I find myself wearing hoodies a lot in this and I find that it, when I make my videos and I find the reason is probably because I'm so skinny that if I don't, I look even skinnier. Like I look very skinny right now. You can see my bony shoulders. There's Chester's head. Yay. Three of three. You think, you think that balancing this monk- oh, hey, blank. You think that balancing chest is head? All my- <coughs> All my head is a thing I learned in the circus? No, it's an intimidation thing you learn in the tribes, uh, down in the- wherever tribes are. You- you gotta learn to balance dead bodies on your head. This ain't no circus trick. I just learned to murder people and hide their bodies really well. And pretend they were hats. Well, that was night two of Five Nights at Candies. Tell me if you guys want to see me beat. Tell me if you guys want to see me beat the full game in the comments or just leave a like. Uh, and that'll let me know if you want to see me beat the game. So, see you guys next time.